Hey guys, welcome to Nerd Locker Podcast, your entertainment podcast for everything movies, television, video games, and more. My name is Adam. And I'm Oliver. And you probably have recognized that we are not in the same room. Uh, just some things happened. Uh, Oliver's feeling a little under the weather, so we are just going to record from our own places. Um, so we're going to talk about Secret Invasion Ooh. The season What'd series finale. Oh my god! Ooh. I don't, I don't know. First and foremost, like what we didn't cover last week was the mutiny that happened from uh, Beto and the rest of the scrolls against mm. Gravik. Right. And now we see how bad that's gotten to where Gravik has them locked in cells. Right. Ready to die. Yeah. And he, so Fury apparently, and we'll get to that is going to meet up with Gravik. At the same time, Scrody is Scrody? currently... Scrody. Scroll Rody. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue. Uh, Scrody um, is trying to get the president to use a nuke to hit Russia, start World War Three. So within all of this, we are now getting some... It's like just intense... And there's a lot, like there's someone kill or not even killing everyone, but knocking people out with trank guns mm-hmm. uh, at the hospital. Plus, you have Fury, who apparently is at the hospital, but is currently confronting Gravik and is immediately getting affected by the radioactivity that's yep. going around in this space by coughing a lot Can and we showing weakness. Also, point out Scrody how how much he pushes for Russia. And he's talking to like the one of the colonels, like, "Are you stupid? Did you have something stupid this morning?" And he's just like, "Russia, Russia, Russia." I'm like, "Yo, take it easy, Jesus." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was. Oh my god. It it really just like everything combined, basically. Um, like all these storylines are converging, and we have Gravik, who is basically telling Fury, like, "You're the dad that went ran away." Mm-hmm. Like. I looked up to you, and then we find out who Gravik, like the face he's wearing, is of the first human he killed, which is kind of based cool. on Fury's orders. So we, um, we get some of that story, and then we finally get the harvest, which was first off not even just Avengers. Everybody. Thanos's DNA was in that. Yeah, they had and everybody from Endgame, right? That's that was yeah. yeah. So we. Uh, the harvest happens, and Gravik ends up getting all of these powers, mm-hmm. and these powers end up being just ridiculous, like, co- combination. Scroll. We get our Super Scroll, like, first look as how he was jacked. in the comics, where he had all these different uh, things, and he's about to hulk out and kill Nick Fury when... Boom! Fury grabs the hand, He's like, and we find out Yo. it's not Fury. It's been Gaia, Why? which kind of brings up, like, how did Gaia... I'm assuming when Gaia was talking to his Fury, it's what she assumed he would say in reaction to those, like, um, questions that Graphic was asking. Mm-hmm. So it was probably definitely that. Um, and we... It, it's just it's this fight and they both use captain marvel's power we see right. drax we see ghost we see some of the um, the other people like thanos's buddies like the, the yeah call obsidian um, and Ma. we get abomination yeah. at some point and abomination wasn't even at the battle of new york as far as i know or at the battle of earth so that was kind of weird oh that's a good how did point. they have abomination but like I don't know, it might be getting into more of, and we'll get into this uh, briefly later, but about Thunderbolts and stuff, so, probably, like, linking to that. Also, what was the power she had where she, like, disappeared and was, like, reappearing? Was that Ghost from Ant-Man um, and the Wasp? Y- yes, that was Ghost. She wasn't there either. So, I know. It's weird. So, I don't exactly know where Fury has been getting all of this DNA and why he combined it all into one thing, like it doesn't really make doesn't, sense. Ma- yeah, that seems um, really unsafe. <laughs> so we have that, and then so now we know that guy is there. So then we get back to the hospital where Fury does show up, and he tranked everyone. He didn't kill everyone because then he would be a fugitive and would be going to jail. Mm-hmm. Um, but he tranks everyone and then tells the president, like that Rhodey is a scroll, mm-hmm. and 
the president, of course, is like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And then finally, like, he's about to break through and Scrody ends up trying to grab a gun and fucking Fury pops him in the fucking, fucking head. Wrecked. Done. So now Scrody is no more. And then the president, or uh, then we go back to Gaia fighting Gravik and she blasts through his fucking chest, dude. Mm, that was dope. Like, just done. That was but dope. But the thing is, is with Extremis, is he still going to come back? Like, that's the thing. It may take like, more time did he survive? because Audrey Killian, like, blew up. Yeah, so sure. it might take more time. Who knows? And so we have that, and then we get to... um, She releases everybody. Right. And we finally get confirmation... Rhodey's alive. ...that Rhodey was taken, and his legs don't, don't work. work. Yeah. Which means he was taken right when he fell out of the sky. Right. Which means in Infinity War... Endgame, the Captain Marvel post credit scene, Scrody. and Winter Soldier, yeah. yeah, Falcon Winter Soldier, all Scrody. So it's just crazy that Don Cheadle has been playing this character, and it kind of makes it now. I really want to look back. So at these I did rewatch. See, like, he doesn't do too much in Endgame. I I didn't pick up on anything. I do kind of want to watch uh, Winter Soldier though and see if anything happens. I w- I kind of want to watch all four and see like all these appearances and Little, like, see what was things. the difference. Yeah, and so that might be something we review uh, next week or in the next couple of weeks. We'll go over, like, what we saw and, like, how we think those little nuances were. And um, there was so... another thing really quick. So all the powers that they got. First off, why didn't Gravik, like, kick Fury out of the thing? Did he want him to have the abilities, too? Um, like, why would he... I think he thought it would overload him and kill him. Okay. That seems like a risk. Yeah. Like... Um, it <sighs> like he's a pretty know. smart guy, so that's why I was like, why is he surprised that like he should have thought this would happen? And then you know, obviously it's Gaia. Yeah, I that, that I weird. can see that. Um, and then a lot of the powers that they have are essentially the same. They're all just super strength, except for like you know Captain Marvel, the teleport ghost. Yeah, they didn't extremist. want to show too much. I think they had Groot in there still. Yeah, um, they had that I don't ice think they thing. needed to show too many. Yeah, it was whatever probably their budget was. But a lot of them the are show. just like hulking. Um, yeah, for the most part. But that makes her the most OP character right now because she literally has everybody's powers. She she's on our side. So well, she legit in London. has every fucking person's powers. Yeah, but it makes you think. How do you kill that? I don't know. (laughs) And we won't find out. But until then, here's a quick word from our sponsor. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist in their network. Then you could talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's via text, chat, phone, or video call. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. If your therapist isn't the right fit for any reason, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality you expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom-picked for you, more scheduling flexibility, and at a more affordable price. Get 10% off at your first month at BetterHelp.com dot com slash nerdlocker and that's b e t t e r h e l p dot com slash nerdlocker and we've also linked them down below in the description and we're back uh so we finally get also um what's her face dolores umbridge uh, oh yeah umbridge she's actually kind of cool yeah yeah so she ends up recruiting gaia into what seems like an a Dark Avengers version thing. But uh-huh. I think this is more towards... There was a certain group. I forget the name of them. I th- oh, Excalibur. That was a group of, like, British superheroes. Oh. Kind of like the Avengers that had Captain Britain on it and stuff like that. So there might be something going on there. There might be a Peggy Carter uh, cameo coming back as Captain America. Maybe there's another timeline that they grabbed it from other than the one she got cut it in half on. You right. Know? So we might get another version of her. And... It definitely is heading into Thunderbolts because we know that when, um, because the president fucking left field decides all Yo, scrolls need to die. President so then sucks. All these, <laughs> and then all these vigilantes, like just killing him on live broadcast. I know. 
and then really killing somebody and thinking they like killing the prime minister. Ridiculous. Like, Damn. <sighs> so like they still caused a world war, world's war at this point, and it's like I. But basically, Fury, when he called the president, said this is a one term kind of thing, which kind of shows us that he's going to die when uh, no, when yeah. Everett Ross um, comes or not Everett Ross. We already saw him at the end of that, which another reveal. We saw Everett Ross that he was also captured at some point. No, no one knows when. But um, we look at um, Thunderbolt Ross. That's who I'm trying to get at oh. uh, from everything else and while he's gonna come out and Harrison Ford is playing him now because William Hurt did pass away so Harrison Ford is gonna be the it, he's supposed to be president in that movie so that means that he took over after this guy obviously either does only one term or actually maybe gets killed by a vigilante with all these riots right but we get uh Fury going back to Priscilla and telling her like hey if you want if you can forgive me you know where to find me and mm-hmm. she ends up getting to him right before he's about to board to Saber and she turns back into a scroll and he ends up kissing her and showing that he didn't what'd care you, what she you think of that? Like, which was super cool. Yeah. It kind of weirded Captain me Kirk. out a little bit. Yeah. Captain Kirk. Did we see that? Oh 100%. yeah. But the first thought was um the last of us where the, the, uh, what do you call it? Oh yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That's what I thought but of too. I, I, in my opinion though, I just really, um, enjoyed this show mm-hmm. i think it sets up a lot of things for the thunderbolts and where we're going with that because i'm assuming that they're probably going to be these vigilantes that are going to be probably killing scrolls on per se a val and that's not even to say if val is probably a scroll herself right so we will probably still get more reveals of scrolls because we saw at the end they found this one place that had a shit ton of people in those machines. Mm-hmm. So who knows who who else could be a scroll? Right, that's what I was wondering. And who else are those? Just regular scrolls? Are they super scrolls as well? Those should be just be regular. At okay. This point. Okay. But regardless, um, that's what I'm saying. Graphics could still be around, and we could still be doing something with that. Um, and then we also have to think that this is going to lead right into the Marvels. So do you think we'll Gaia is affected? Again. Do you think Gaia is affected? Since she has Captain uh, Captain Marvel's powers, is she affected by I the other Marvels? Show up. That's what I, I think was she might too. show up. I think she might show up. And so w- that's how we'll get more of this, the Kree and everything when he said, like, oh, they're going to do a pre- peace treaty with us or talk about making peace and stuff like that. So, like, we definitely had a lot more setup. And it just... I don't know. It ended on a pretty satisfying note. I feel like the battle between Gaia and Gravik could have been a little bit more. Yeah, I kind of wanted a little bit more, too. Maybe something in space, but maybe it's a budget thing. something like that. Yeah, it could be. So, yeah. um, Overall, I liked it. I give this episode a 9, and I think I give the whole series a 9 as well. I'm going to give this episode a 7, because that graphic thing really bothered me. Um, I just thought it was easily unavoidable. And then um, the entire series, I'll give an 8. I kind of wish it was a little bit longer, like a little bit more development in some of the characters. Yeah, I can definitely see that because it definitely was a short episode. Yeah, it's like 38 so, minutes. And then, you know, yeah. with the uh, intro, it's like a 20 minute episode. Exactly. <laughs> so you you just never know. And, and we also know now Kobe Smulders is dead. Like, Dude, I was R. waiting. I was waiting for a uh, special guest Kobe Smulders <laughs> like at the end right? of the episode. <laughs> Yeah, the only one that got one was Martin Freeman. But okay, and yeah. then, like, this will definitely lead into Armor Wars with Don Cheadle and um, how he's going to be uh, dealing with probably, first off, he has no idea Tony Stark is dead. Oh, yeah. He never went through the blip. Yeah. Like, he missed all of that. Does that mean during the blip, did Scrolls, Scrolls did disappear too, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Damn. But it, it was, yeah, it was a lot. And I really do believe that, um, like, going forward, we're going to see a lot more of that development. And I think with the vigilantes, this is probably their way into Daredevil. Because mm. I can see, because Kingpin's supposed to be running for mayor, so I wouldn't be surprised if he's like, oh, I'm running for mayor, and I can get rid of all the vigilantes and all the scrolls. Like, yeah. they might, in 
across these storylines because this one was very grounded and I think they can keep it that way even though it's dealing with space based things it's very very grounded and I think they can easily bring in the grounded characters through this to get them into uh gotcha uh get <laughs> get you into um whatever you call it <laughs> I that completely derailed me. Um, <laughs> We're screwed. Recording, we got the notification. You have ten minutes left. He's like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that completely threw me off. Um, so we'll get to the vigilantes and like the scrolls and bring those ground uh, level heroes into something space based through this means. Mm-hmm. And I think that's where we're gonna head in the future. Some so, more, some Punisher yeah. stuff. Yeah. So Sweet. I think that's great. I'm excited. But yeah. So, um, with that being said. Thank you guys for tuning in to our weird episode. Weird episode. Uh, it was weird. But definitely wanted to get this one out there for you guys and finish this off so we can move on to um, some Scream stuff. Because right. one thing before I go, I want to show what oh, I purchased, no. which is... Uh, for those who can't see... Oh, yeah, you guys can see. Something yeah, this is the world's hottest gummy bear. So right now, with where we're at, Oliver has to eat majority of this. I have to eat a foot. What's... One foot because he got one killer out of two right in the first or in the second movie. What's the what's the skull like on that thing? Uh nine million. Cool, 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 cool. So that's gonna be times hotter than a that's, jalapeno. That's gonna pepper. be my last episode when we do that. Like ever. <laughs> <laughs> Should be fun. Um, it's intended for adults only and should not be and should be kept out of reach of children and pets. Little nitro is not to be consumed by those with any heart or respiratory condition. I'm gonna die. Consume at your own risk. This is extremely spicy and has the potential to cause skin and or mouth irritation. Skin, <laughs> dude. We'll we'll do this with gloves. I I, I I did have to use gloves for the the one chip. I request Pepto and lemonade. Milk did not work. Are you taking uh, it out? Little Don't nitro touch challenge. it. We want you to make the best little nitro video on the internet. Post your video to YouTube with the hashtag little nitro challenge for a chance to be featured on our website and social media platforms. Ah. Yeah. You have to go five full minutes without relief. No. No. I'll die. I'm not going to make it. I couldn't do like 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Maybe we'll see if we can get Harley in on this. Maybe he'll just do half of it with you. We Yeah. That sounds better. Yeah. We could suffer together. We can see. Cool, cool, cool. All right. All right or guys. can we find you? Ha, huh, I beat you. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Um, you can find me at AMORI Photography. You can find this podcast at Archangel. No, you can find the studio at Archangel Studios Official. Me at AMORI Photography and this podcast, Nerd Locker Podcast, wherever you get your podcast. Yeah, you can find me at the Sewer 21 on any major uh, social media platform except for TikTok. I'm Oliver Khan VA. Well, I guess that's All it. Right. All right, that's it. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Ha 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 ha!